Well, I'll just try and show you Shrewsbury Castle. That's uh, one of the gatehouses, presumably. And this is the castle itself. No, I must say it's a, a little hard for disabled people to get in. Although they meant the best of what they can really do. Basically, you go up that ramp there and then back towards the side door, which is just there, and you go in on the upper level. Come back out through there, down the ramp, across to that side, then they put a ramp out for you to get up and down those few steps. It is interesting, you can't get to all of it. Uh, some of it is uh, is, is not uh, disabled friendly. Uh, the dungeon part of it downstairs, which uh, this was a former prison. So. Yes, very nice, very nice grounds. Um, every uh, there we go. There's the gate. That's where I came in. Uh, yeah, everything's been done that uh, can be done really to a fully stable person, and it is accessible. A uh, little bit of a camber on the way in, but that's about it. The original. This is the uh, original gateway to the castle. Built in Norman times. Nice shot of the castle in the background. Again, just to remind you, this was used as a prison. And it is the... Now oh then, the... Um, Museum of the Staffordshire Light Infantry. Uh, I've been inside the museum, it's very good. I didn't take pictures inside the museum, I didn't think it was quite right not being a military um, place. Um, it does uh, show that the Staffordshire Light Infantry have actually served pretty much all over the world. I was quite amazed at how many countries um, that they have served in. And uh, one of the most unusual, North America. Uh, the uniform looked quite uh, familiar and it was basically, if you remember, the last time of them were Hecans and that kind of thing, very much that kind of uh, stuff. Uh, every corner of the world seemed to have served in. I could go through this as long as your arm. I will try and do that. Because uh, I'll be wrong, and then there'll be one of you ask, yeah, well, I ain't got it wrong, that stupid Yorkshireman. So I'll leave it at that. Mm, it's a bit bright, but what do you make of that? Is that, uh, well, architecture on that? Don't know. Love to know. I am in one, I guess. Elizabethan, maybe. There's lots of other uh, buildings for, you know, same kind of thing. I'll try and take you around the front, which I won't make you around the front. Yeah, just to uh, take you around the front now, to see you look at the, uh, the amount of uh, timber work involved in that. Lots of buildings like it in Shrewsbury. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just uh, try and give you a little video. This is, uh, I don't know whether it's quite the centre of, uh, of Shrewsbury, but uh, uh, well, it'd be very nice if that truck hadn't driven through it, but there you are. So, this is uh, kind of typical uh, uh, example of the buildings, very. Uh, I'm going to say Elizabethan, but I'm not quite sure. It could be Tudor. Uh, and then there's uh, some marvellous uh, 
examples of uh, later architecture, I suppose, if I swing around in this direction, you'll see that it's pretty much uh, the, these buildings are uh, these heavily decorated buildings. Absolutely, all over the town, all over the town now, the city, I think it is, I think it is. maybe not, it may be a town. Anyway, I'm going to get corrected, I know, by some local people, I'm sure. So, we'll hold it there, the stupid uh, Yorkshireman.